Lesson 12 is on dividing integers. So obviously, since we've already multiplied integers, now we're going to divide integers. Good news, it's going to be really similar to multiplication. So let's look at this first example. Great white shark ha a great white shark has 3,000 teeth. Wow, that's a lot. It gains and loses teeth often in its lifetime. Suppose great white loses three teeth each day for five days without gaining any. That would mean the shark has lost 15 teeth in all. So if we talk about what these mean as integers, if we're losing three teeth, I think that's a negative three. If we're doing it for five days, I'm going to say that's a positive five. And if they've lost 15 teeth in all, I'm going to say that's a negative 15. So if it says write a multiplication sentence, multiplication sentence for the situation, I would say negative three times five, positive five, equals a negative 15. And we learned that um, in our last lesson that a negative times a positive equals a negative. Division, though, is related to multiplication. They go together. So we need to write two division sentences that are related to multiplication sentence. So remember, to do division, we kind of go backwards, right? I'm going to start with a negative 15, and I'm going to divide that by 5. Okay, and if I go negative 15 divided by 5, that is going to equal a negative 3. Well, these two are interchangeable, so we could also write this as negative 15 divided by a negative 3, like if I change these around, and that's going to equal a positive 5. So we're going to start seeing some rules developing here because division is related to multiplication. So let's look at this table here. Okay, so basically we have this multiplication sentence already given to us, and we want to um, translate those into two division sentences and then answer some questions on it. So you'll notice here they had 2 times 6 equals 12. So if I want to change that to division, remember we kind of go backwards here. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. They have the same signs. Quotient. The quotient is an answer to a division problem. So when you see quotient, that's the answer to a division problem, which is positive. But we could also switch these around. So we could say 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. Again, they have the same sign. Our quotient is 6 and it's positive. So let's do that with the rest of these here. So I'm going to go backwards here. I have 2 times negative 4 equals negative 8. So if I go backwards, I have negative 8 divided by negative 4. Sorry, my division signs don't look real great here. And that's going to equal 2. Now, I remember can change these around, so I could always say this is negative 4 times 2 equals negative 8. So if I write it backwards, I could say negative 8 divided by 2, positive 2, equals negative 4. So if I look at these, these two are the same signs. Both are negative. So I'm going to say same. And our quotient, our solution here is 2. And that's positive. Okay, we're going to fill this chart out, and then we'll come back and make some conclusions based on it. But if I look at the negative 8 and 2 here, those are different signs. And our solution, our answer is a negative 4, and that's negative. All right, so let's do this again. I have, let's switch colors up here, negative 3 times 5 equals a negative 15. So changing that into division, going opposite, I'm going to go negative 15 divided by 5 equals negative 3. Or again, if we switch these, whew, not only division sign I'm struggling with, I'm struggling with multiplication. I could say negative 15 divided by negative 3 equals a positive 5. So if I look here about the same or different signs, these are different, negative 15 and 5. Um, and I get a solution, a quotient of negative 3, which is negative. If I look at negative 15 and negative 3, though, those are the same. And my solution is a positive 5, and we say it's positive. All right, this one here. Going backwards, I'm going to say 10 divided by a negative 5. is going to be equal to a negative 2. And if I switch them, I would say 10 divided by negative 2 equals negative 5. 
and these are both different signs. Okay, so my quotient here is negative 2, my quotient here is negative 5, and they're both negative. So what do we notice based on this information here? Notice that when we had the same sign, let's write that here. If we had on the same sign, it was positive. Ugh. Here, back to the lines I'm struggling with. Same sign, positive. Same sign, positive. Same sign, positive. Same sign, positive. Hmm. But if we had a different sign, it was negative. And a different sign, negative. And both of these are different signs, negative. So it kind of looks like there's some type of relationship there in that sloppy chart I made. If we're going to divide integers with different signs, according to my chart, if they're different, I expect my quotient to be negative. And it says the quotient of two integers with different signs is negative. So whether you have a positive divided by a negative, like we do here, 33 divided by negative 11, it's going to equal a negative 3. If you have a negative to start, negative 64 divided by a positive 8, we get a negative 8. And it says you can divide integers provided that the div divisor is not 0. Just mean you can't divide by 0. Okay, we can't break anything up into 0 groups. Um, since multiplication division sentences are sorry, are related, I don't think I made that any better, but are related, you can use them to find quotients of integers with different signs, okay? So what we mean with different signs, so we're different, different signs, since we're using this idea that multiplication and division are related, notice that when we switch this around, Okay, we get different signs for each of these. And if we have different signs, that means we have a negative quotient. So if we, solution to a division problem. So if we start here and we say a positive 2 times a negative 6 is a negative 12. And we write the division problem, negative 12 divided by 2 equals negative 6. It doesn't matter which way we go. And if we have negative 2 times a negative 6, which we know a negative times a negative is a positive, division 2 divided, I'm sorry, 12 divided by negative 2 is going to be a negative 6. So if we have different signs, negative positive or positive negative, we're going to have a negative quotient. The regular division stays the same, okay? That doesn't change. So let's just look at a couple examples here. It says find 80 divided by negative 10. Different signs, right? And different signs means it's negative. So I know right away my answer can be negative. All I have to do then is go 80 divided by 10. That's 8. Okay. So the division stays the same. We're just focusing on the if it's going to be positive or negative. And those rules are actually the same as multiplication. Remember when we write it like this? This still means division. And this is a negative divided by a positive. I know that means my answer is going to be negative because they're different signs. And then all I have to do is go 55 divided by 11, and I know the answer is 5. Okay? And as you can see here, you know, the next video is going to be working on dividing integers with the same sign. Um, but for different signs to start off, um, we need to know that if you're dividing integers and they both have different signs, then you're automatically going to have a negative solution.